This is Pastor Jacob Blankenship. Hey, greetings. It's Brother John. And we are here and excited to announce the 2024 Christian Leadership Conference. This year, we're excited to let you know that women will be there as well. Amen. Even though it's a Christian Leadership Conference, uh, the women have a part to play, so everyone will be edified. Thank you, Jesus. Also, the main theme this year will be Christian leadership, and the sub-theme will be setting things in order. So we know that God is glad Amen. and the devil is mad. That's right. Amen. Hey, praise, praise the Lord. God. So the purpose of this update video, so I'm going to give the purpose, and then I'm going to give the vision for this conference. Amen. Praise the Lord. The purpose of this update video is to give a basic idea of what the 2024 Christian Leadership Conference entails so that you know what to expect. This briefing will include the vision for 2024 Christian Leadership Conference, the schedule, the standard, the speakers, etc. Knowing this, as much as we would love for everyone to come, we understand this conference is not for everyone. This conference is for men and women of God dedicated and on fire that believe in God-ordained men leading his church under his leadership for the purpose of building up the body and evangelizing the lost and all that that entails. So if you're considering attending, we ask that you listen to the update videos and pray for confirmation that you would attend. Amen. So the vision. God is a God of order, and he commands us to do everything decent and in order. Growing up in this backward society, most of us were not taught what it means to be in order or set things in order. So now, as men of God, we must learn how to set things in order biblically if we are to be successful in the kingdom of God. Every establishment, whether it be a family, church, or even a, or even a government, must be put in order and run in that order. Otherwise, it is an automatic failure. So out of God's great leadership and leading, he has led us to invite great leaders from all around the country to do just that. From how to conduct our own lives to leading a family or a local church, we will be equipping men of God to be better leaders. Thank you, Jesus. So whether you are a current leader or a leader of the future, you will be prepared for future leadership challenges. Furthermore, through this conference, our hope and vision is to better prepare men to be strong Christians, husbands, fathers, and church leaders. Amen. Praise God. By the grace of God, we are already seeing a fruitful year of building up the body and evangelizing the lost, Amen. as we hope you are too. God is putting things in order in his body, and that includes establishing and equipping leadership. Like we said, God has handpicked anointed leaders from around the country from every gift and calling to come and deliver his word at this year's Christian Leadership Conference. As the scripture says in Ephesians 4, 11 and 12, and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of of the body of Christ. Amen. As the body of Christ is built, formed, and strengthened, it is important that everyone has this vision for leadership. A lack of understanding of the need for leadership can be disastrous to the Christian and the overall body of Christ, leading to disunity, disorder, and mass rebellion. Hmm. Furthermore, understanding leadership's purpose, role, role, and authority is crucial to the whole body's success, Amen. whether it be at the corporate level or the local level, because you have a part to play, and the more you see and understand, the more God can trust, equip, and use you. Amen. To show the importance of this topic, just think of a family without a father. Think of a church without pastors or elders. Or think of a city without a government to run and man maintain it. Mm -hmm. 
as crazy as this sounds, when men do not do their job in their families and churches, they might as well be absent. On the contrary, with, with good leadership comes protection and order so that everything can be run efficiently and be taken care of. Without God-ordained leadership, the enemy is free to come in and wreak havoc. Like Jesus said in Mark 3, 27, No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. And this is how the enemy has defeated the American family and the American church. If you take out leadership or have weak leadership, you can easily defeat the people. But if you have strong men, you will have strong families. And strong families make strong churches. And strong churches make for strong countries. Amen. So we believe submission to authority is crucial for God's will to be done within every institution. And there is no exception for the church. Keep in mind, because the enemy knows these rules of spiritual warfare, he always does what he can to come against God-ordained order. That's why we ask everyone to keep this conference in their prayers and know that we will be calling a corporate fast a week before the conference. A three-day fast, most likely. Amen. That's what we plan on doing, three-day fast. And if you can't fast on those exact days, we ask that you fast on days that work for you before the conference. Amen. In summary, we know and believe the devil's strategy is to break down and weaken the order of the family slash church because he knows if he can break down and weaken the order, then God will not bless it and it will not run correctly and it will be crippled at best. Amen. We see this today through disobedient fathers and pastors who are afraid to exercise their God-given authority to fulfill their roles. Amen. We also see this manifested through women pastors and women teaching behind the pulpit. Mm. This is a direct rebellion and contradiction to God's word, and everyone suffers for it. So this conference is aimed at teaching biblical leadership roles to help equip and restore men to their rightful places in leadership. So the topics the speakers will be bringing will be based on building leaders. Yes. So even if you are not currently in any leadership positions in your life, you can benefit greatly by being prepared to be a leader in the future. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're excited. Amen. Amen. Very praise excited. Praise the Lord. Praise so, God. praise God. Uh, so, I'm going to talk about the speakers and also give you a little snapshot mm. of the schedule. I'm not going to break down every 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 moment, uh, but um, just give you a little bit of a snapshot. Um, we do have, just before I start on the speakers, we do have uh, a couple speakers that we haven't confirmed with their schedules yet. I know these brothers want to come. Uh, they're just looking at the, the scheduling for other events, whether they're going to be there. And at the m making of this video, uh, we didn't hear uh, back yet. But we have good relationships with these brothers, and uh, hopefully God. they're going to be there. So in future videos, we may be adding a couple other speakers. So uh, keep your eyes tuned in. Make sure you're subscribed uh, to our ch channels and uh, paying attention with these updates, and we'll keep you informed. Amen? Praise God. So the speakers we have uh, penciled in right now, of course, is Pastor Jacob. Uh, myself, we're here with Antioch Fellowship of the Elect. Uh, we have uh, Brother J.K., dear brother, longtime veteran. You know him. He's the guy, shirts that speak. Praise God. Uh, shirts that speak to make all the banners and, and, uh, and T-shirts. Of course, we got Brother uh, Adam LaCroix down from Team Jesus Preachers. Mm -hmm. We just got back from his conference. He'll be there. Uh, real excited about uh, Pastor Brett Williams. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. With uh, Consuming Fire Fellowship. Yes. And also from uh, Consuming Fire Fellowship also is uh, the other pastor down there, Charlie Cannon. Praise We're God. We're excited about having so him excited. this year. God bless Last you. year uh, at the conference, we were able uh, to pass out um, the stones from a shepherd's purse. Yes. Those books that were handed out free to everybody at the conference last year, they were provided uh, by Pastor Britt down at Consuming Fire Fellowship. Amen. And I think we actually have some, some giveaways 
uh, from him this year. Yes. That we're going to be giving away some uh, yeah. another book he has on prayer. Yes. So we're excited about having them at the conference. Praise the Lord. We also have Pastor Dwayne Stewart, who yeah. also has a church in the uh, D.C. area. Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. Yeah. area. Pastor Dwayne Stewart, he'll be there this year. Uh, we, have pa uh, we have Jeff Mullen, awesome Praise evangelist God. from up in Pennsylvania. Who's kicking, uh, stepping on, on the devil's head conti continuously Hallelujah. down there? Thank you, Lord. So praise God for him. Uh, we got uh, evangelist Chad Johnson from Amen. Kentucky. I've known him a long time. Great man of God. Also have from North Carolina, uh, brother Alan Inez. Praise the Lord. Good brother. He's in a weekly prayer meeting with us. He has been for quite a while now. Yes, yeah, great man. It's of powerful. God. Great He's man of God. Preacher We're, of the year. Preacher. Oh yeah, he got preacher of the year uh, at the Street and Open Air Preachers of America conference. So he's going to be coming. And bringing a word from the Lord. Hallelujah. And so super excited about all these speakers. Now we'll give you a little bit of a rundown on the schedule. Um, the dates for the conference are the arrival day is Thursday, uh, May 23rd. Mm. And the, uh, the departure day will be Monday, May 27th. So we'll go through the schedule here. We'll break a little bit of each day down. Uh, those of you that are flying in from around the country... Or around the world, I know we had some people from out of the country come last year, mm. uh, from Norway, India. I don't know where you're coming from when you come, but if you agree to the standards we're going to talk about, and you're going to come, and you've and you've uh, talked with us, if there's any questions, if you do decide to come, fly into the uh, Cincinnati airport. Yes. The code for the Cincinnati airport is CVG. So fly into the Cincinnati airport. Arrival day will be Thursday, May 23rd. We're going to have an arrival dinner fellowship. It's going to be an awesome dinner, awesome fellowship, and uh, we're going to do that at 6 p.m. It'll probably go till 9 or 10 o'clock at night, nice. but it starts at 6 p.m. We're going to have a meal for you guys getting in. People will be, it'll be staggered arrival. Not everybody will get there right at 5 or 6, but uh, people will be coming in all through the night. We'll have shuttles. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have the shuttle van going to the airport multiple times on Thursday, so let us know when you're coming in. When you register, um, you'll be able to put notes in there. There'll be a spot. Let us know if you need to shuttle. That, the link for the uh, registration will be in the description mm -hmm. of the video. So when you register, you answer all the questions so we'll know uh, your logistics so we can serve you. We want to serve you. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, so that's Thursday. Now, Friday is the actual first day of the, of the full day of the conference. Every day, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, uh, breakfast will be served uh, yeah. from 7 to 8 a.m. Amen. Every day. Praise God. And after breakfast... Uh, we'll be start. We'll be going right into prayer, corporate prayer, yes. corporate worship, and then we'll have on Friday we'll have three speakers in the morning, uh, followed by a lunch break, three speakers in the afternoon, a dinner break, and then one speaker uh, in the evening. It's a very special time. We had some awesome times last year yes. with that evening uh, speaker bringing a great word uh, from the Lord. Amen. And then Saturday, a little bit different. We'll have three speakers in the morning. And then we're going to go out as, as one unit yes. uh, to the Taste of Cincinnati that afternoon. Praise God. Uh, Taste of Cincinnati is a huge event in downtown Cincinnati. Uh, and we'll be down there uh, all afternoon. Uh, there's about five, there's between 500,000 to 700,000 people there over the weekend. Praise so God. a ton of people. Yes. And so we're going to do that Saturday afternoon. And then we'll come back to the uh, conference center. And we'll have a huge dinner. Last year, we had a barbecue. Mm. Man, that was good. Yeah, well, this year, it uh, looks like we're going to try to do a barbecue again. It'll be a very special dinner that night. Yeah. And then after the dinner, uh, we will have uh, one more speaker uh, in the evening. Amen? Amen. And then on Sunday, praise the Lord, we'll have uh, Pastor Jacob. I'll mm. give you a sneak peek. Pastor Jacob's going to be bringing the word and bringing communion. Yeah, We're going to be leading a communion service Amen. on Sunday morning. Pastor Jacob is from our Amen. Antioch Fellowship of the Elect. And then um, I believe Pastor Britt Williams with Consumer, yes. Consuming Fire Fellowship is going to bring the other uh, yeah. Sunday message. Amen. Yeah. Lord willing. Lord willing. Lord willing. Amen. Amen. And then we will have a lunch break. And then after lunch, we'll have three more speakers, then a dinner break, and then one more speaker uh, on Sunday night. And some people may... Uh, be leaving on Sunday. Uh, hopefully they'll wait till the end of the day Sunday if they have to leave. Uh, but we are asking you and, and, and encouraging you to stay for Monday. Monday is a bonus day. Yeah. Uh, Monday is going to look like this. Pastor Jacob and I are, are going to get up there. We're going to give our closing remarks like we did last year. 
and kind of run down like you know what we what we took in and, and yeah. just feed out what what we notes we took and just mm-hmm. words of encouragement to everybody and whatever the Lord puts on our heart highlights the, highlights highlights mm-hmm. amen and so after those closing remarks we're gonna do the, some team building some awesome activities we're gonna do activities uh, like archery uh, like we did last year axe throwing like we did last year uh, we're also looking at doing kickball and possibly basketball and volleyball, cornhole. There's a lot of activities that we can do. So we're going to be doing these activities in the afternoon. And also on Monday, we will be having breakfast, lunch, and dinner will be available. Now, dinner on Monday will be the final meal, and that'll be a departure fellowship dinner. And then after that, on Monday, we, we will be leaving uh, the, the property. So we won't have access on Monday night. I will be having a uh, after party at my house, <laughs> Lord willing. And uh, if any brothers uh, want to come back to my house, uh, you're more than welcome to. Now, sisters, uh, if there are other sisters with you, or uh, we'll deal with that on a case-by-case basis. I know JK and Annika will probably come back, so you might be able to partner with Annika uh, and possibly come back, but that'll be on a case-by-case basis. We will be having uh, separate quarters uh, at the property. Amen. So the men and women will be staying, uh, you know, like quarter mile apart. It's basically, Amen. it's... it's you know, very far apart in a separate yeah. quarter. So I just wanted to put that out there. It wasn't yeah. in my notes, Amen. but I just want to remind you, the women are going to be at a safe, secure location Amen. Uh, in a separate dormitory area of, yeah. apart from the men. So Amen. that'll be all done decently Amen. in order. Amen. And, and we're not doing uh, swimming this year just because the women are there and we're, we got other activities. So we just want to um, Amen. give the devil no occasion, right. you know, for, for anything. So right. praise God. Amen. It's going to be great. Yeah, there will be opportunities, though. Uh, there will be opportunities for baptism. Yes. So in order, we, yeah, we're going to stay away from the from the slip and slide and the water activities like we did last yeah. year with just the men. Amen. Uh, amen, Pastor. Yeah. But w- there will be opportunities if uh, if somebody wants to get baptized. I'm, I'm praying yeah. that my mom, yeah. pray that my mom will be ready to get baptized. Praise God. I'm pro- I, yes. I, 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 I kind of saw that in the prayer closet. And Lord. I'm praying. So pray that my mom, uh, who's coming to the Lord, uh, we'll want to get baptized. We'll be ready for that. So Amen. pray for that. Who yes. knows? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. God's Praise God. So we have some standards, though. I think we're going to, uh, Pastor Jacob's going to close the video out yes. and uh, talk about these standards. Very, Amen. very, very important. Yes. So every good conference should have s- standards. Amen. Amen. Standards Amen. protect the people. Yes. Standards Thank are God good. for standards. Hallelujah. And, that, and that's part of being leadership. Amen. You know, is you have to set standards to keep out sin. Amen. And to keep out even uh, the appearance of sin, Amen. the Bible says. Praise God. So, yeah, some of our standards is we believe in the Godhead. Amen. Amen. you got to believe in the Godhead to come to this conference. Amen. One God exist, existing in three persons, namely the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. This is basic Christianity. Yes. Amen. Number two, you must believe in the infallibility of Scripture, that all Scripture is inspired by God and is perfect, and that the Bible includes 66 books alone, no apocrypha. Amen. Amen. We're not wanting any uh, demonic Enoch or or Jasher. You can keep that garbage. Strange fire. Yeah, strange fire. We trust in the Word of God alone. Amen. So uh, we don't want any f- flat earth nonsense. Uh, we're just going to be frank. Amen. Last year, somebody was talking about flat earth. We don't want that here. Amen. So, uh, yes. 66 books. Amen. Amen. Number three, must believe in freedom from sin. Yes. No sin in the camp. Amen. A Christian walks holy with no willful sin. Willful sin is a breach in the covenant. must be dealt with. Romans 6.22, now, it says, but now, being made free from sin, if you're a Christian, Amen. but now being made free from sin and become servants to God, ye have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. Thank you, Jesus. You continue on the road to holiness, the end is everlasting life. Amen. Amen. God's a deliverer. Praise the Amen. Lord. Don't get me started. Amen. Number four. Standard for modesty. There's going to be women there. So yes. women, you make sure your skirts and, and dresses cover your knees. Yes. Amen. Don't be uh, coming close to the line. Amen. Right. Amen. And no sleeveless dresses. And that goes for uh, men. No, or no sleeveless shirts too. Amen. We don't want uh, you showing off your muscles. That's right. Amen. Keep that 
somewhere else. Amen. We want to protect our ladies. Yes. You know? Amen. We, we, we don't want to make our sisters stumble either. That's right. So, yes. Uh, be holy, yes. for I am holy. Amen. Be holy in all your conduct. That's right. Be holy in the way you dress. Thank Amen. Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Five, a born-again Christian with the Holy Spirit dwelling in them cannot have indwelling demons. That's right. We do not want any of that. No. Keep that away that if you believe that, just this conference is not for you. Amen. And number six, of course, railing. Right. Amen. We have a standard. Amen. We're going to be preaching from with preachers from all around the country, and we want to stay away from uh, language that is not in the Bible. Amen. Any language that is considered offensive by some, we're going to be respectful and love our brethren and, and not use it. That's right. And we're going to honor God and have excellent speech. Amen. That cannot be condemned. That's right. Yeah. And if sound speech. Yeah, amen. Sound speech. Amen. If people don't believe with these standards, this isn't the conference for you. We must agree with these standards to attend. Yeah. Amen. Amen. These are simple, basic standards. And yes. these are all biblical things. And uh, they're going to bless us. Amen. And they're going to create a safe environment yes. where we can all flourish and grow and, and not have Praise to God. be on guard, not have to look over our shoulder because somebody didn't raise a standard. Mm. The devil hates the standard. Yes. The devil's raging because of the holy standard. Thank you, Lord. But like I said, uh, God's doing great things. Yes, he is. God's bringing together right. a bride without spot or wrinkle Amen. or any such blemish. Thank you, Lord. Because she's holy. Hallelujah. And uh, don't be deceived. Amen. We're in the last days. Yes. We want to think that we can do anything and go to heaven. No. If it's not Jesus, if Jesus wouldn't do it, we don't do it. That's right. So we're um, bringing these men of God in faith. Amen. Uh, we know they're anointed men of God. We know them. Yes. But we're bringing them in faith that they're going to hear from God. Yes. They're going to seek God on what God wants them to bring and Amen. build these men of God. Amen. Like I said, all because we're, we're focused on uh, leadership, which is men. Men are leaders in the body of Christ. Yes. Doesn't mean that the women don't have a part to play. Amen. They are a crucial part, as I said in the sermon today. Mm. They're a crucial part of the body of Christ, and we can't do what we do without the women doing what they do. That's right. So Amen. we honor them, and we bless them. And Amen. it's going to be a great conference for everybody because everybody's going to be edified, strengthened, and equipped Amen. For, for the work ahead of us. Amen. I have one more thing. Yes. Um, so as I mentioned, in the description below, there'll be the link to the registration. This year, the registration cost for every individual that's coming, whether you're a speaker uh, or anyone else, the, per person is 150 Now, the cost for the event for four days, three meals provided, I mean, the cost is, is more than that. But the fair cost that we believe that everyone will be able to afford is 150 per person. If you're really wanting to come, reach out to us if you're not financially able. And uh, last year, I know that some people donated to help others get here. So we're not sure. we're not making money on this. Actually, we're investing uh, into it. So yes. it's 150 per person. All the details for registration uh, will be in the description box. That's all yeah. I got, Pastor Jacob. And that's a great deal. 150 bucks. You can't even hardly stay at a decent hotel for one night. For one, for one night, night. and you don't get um, food most of the time nowadays. No, this is 13, you know? 13 so, meals, 13, 13 meal meals and four nights lodging. And four nights lodging. Where are you going to get that? You can't. But but those who want to stay. <laughs> Offsite, we'll, right? We'll be able to. Right, right. If you, yeah, if you, if you have, um, you know, if there's some reason that you want to stay at a hotel within 10, 10 to fifteen minutes of mm -hmm. the place where the conference is at, there's multiple hotels that you can stay at. That's right. And um, so, but you'll still, everyone will still need to pay the one fifty per person yeah. to cover the uh, cost for the event and uh, the meals and everything. So. Uh, yeah. So it'll still be one hundred fifty even if you stay offsite. Right. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. That's Amen. All we got. That's all we got, saints. Hey, praise be God. praying about this. Yes. Like I said, the last thing the enemy wants is for his church to be decent and in order. Mm. He, he wants to keep things yes. uh, sloppy and 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 uh, not yeah. God's way. Right. Amen. Yeah. So you have to pray. Right. Pray with us. Amen. And uh, we'll keep the enemy at bay. Thank you, Jesus. Because God has all power. That's right. Praise God. Hallelujah. But, but, but we're not ignorant to his devices That's either. Right. So, amen. God's putting the devil under our feet. Amen. So be blessed in Jesus' name. Yes. Continue to bear fruit. Continue to keep the mind of Christ. Amen. 
and be holy. Amen. God bless you all. God bless you all. Thank In you. Jesus' name.